This is Damian McNamara with Skin and Algae News Digital Network. When it comes to hair transplantation, patients have basically two options. One is a strip excision, which where they take the donor site out of the back of the, the head, basically, or follicular unit extraction, where they take much smaller units and transfer them one at a time. With me is Dr. Ricardo Mejia, who is in private practice in Jupiter, Florida. And my first question for you is, Dr. Mejia, is how do you decide between the two different techniques? Well, the two techniques are totally different, and the strip excision allows us to extract a larger number of grafts in a single session. So if a patient comes in needing a large amount of grafts, you know, strip excision is more efficient. Follicular unit extractions, in many cases, is limited to smaller numbers, and consequently, if you're trying to do a large area, you can't do it all in one session. So a patient will have to have several repeated treatments to get the same numbers as they can do in a strip excision. What advice do you have for colleagues, your dermatology colleagues, when they come to you and ask about hair transplantation, when they want to do it in their office and provide it for their patients? The most important thing about hair transplantation is, you, I think you really have to have a passion for hair. You have to really enjoy it. And it's not like learning a new surgical technique that you can do by yourself in your office, a new flap or a new graft in dermatologic surgery. Hair transplantation is totally a different animal. You have to have uh, you know, the proper training, you know, the techniques, understand the whole process. You have to have a great staff that can help you dissect the grafts and help you transplant the grafts. You know, a, a full hair transplant procedure can take several hours. So you, it's really a team approach. What is your biggest challenge with hair transplantation at this point? With hair transplantation, you don't see the results till about a year later. So communicating with the patient the whole process, making sure they understand the risks and the benefits, and that it's sometimes not just a one-step one procedure. Some patients may require more than one procedure to really get the density they want because they have much higher expectations. So it's important to really clearly communicate that with patients so that they understand the whole process. This has been Damian McNamara with Skin and Algae News Digital Network at the Florida Society of Dermatologic Surgeons meeting in Orlando.